The year is 1990. You're having a lovely, relaxing morning in your room, looking at your Sega posters all over the wall and your Golden Axe replica. I need one of those, by the way, Sega. Hook me up. So what better way to spend the day than playing your damn Sega collection? My god, this thing is huge. Just insert the game and start playing your favorite Sega titles. Because honestly, when I feel like playing Sega, there is nothing more that I think than Tim Allen noises when enemies die. Because I mean, that's, that's brilliant. That's perfect. Like, what more does, do you need in your life? Like, this is perfection. It's, I, I can't, I can't control the enjoyment I'm having right now. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Why is this, why is this only come to light now? Like, has this been a hack that I've just missed? Have I missed all of the best hacks from around the world? Especially the Streets of Rage 2 hacks? Like, I'm starting to see a lot more and I'm like, were these just out of my range before? Were I, was I just blind? Uh, I said when I saw this, pretty much. That's that's a very accurate reaction. Okay, we have to find out if this is the one hack to rule them all, guys. Will it? <laughs> it was high in pitch. That's great. <laughs> oh, best hack. Best hack on the on the workshop right now. It cannot be beaten. Oh, it's perfect. Oh my god. And that's it, by the way, that's all the hack is, because I like showing off simple hacks, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it's just, I, I saw this and I'm like, how can I not? How can I not? Oh God, it would be a disservice to not show this off. Oh man, guys, you can even play a hack that was made for a certain YouTuber. Man, oh man, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder which one this might be. Might be, you know, it's, uh. It's a really, really fun one, guys. You might, you might like this. Welcome to Toast Edition, which is the hack that was based entirely on an in-joke and then stream references, and here we are, made by Sinisu. The one thing I do like so far about this thing, this new thing that Sega have done to the Sega Classics Hub is that, you know, now hacks are going to be way more accessible. It will be so much easier to say, hey, do you own Sonic 1 on Steam? If so, you can play the hack by just hitting a subscribe button on the hack and there you go, it's available for you. It's so much easier now. And although I don't think this will be taking over my way of primarily playing the hacks, uh, because of various limitations in the emulator itself, I feel like this is going to make being able to play hacks a lot more accessible and easier for you guys if you're not really too into the lingo on how to set up emulators or start the files, because I have had a lot of people not know how to do it, so I feel like this is going to be a very nice addition. Now even certain hacks which use SRAM might not work on it, but it seems that uh, at least the save feature, so this might be like SRAM related. The save feature seems to work if you uh, upload the hack as a Sonic 3 and Knuckles thing, because obviously that had a Sonic, that had like a save feature, so. Oh, I'm in the Uber Hub play. Oh yeah, see, because it saved. Hey, it proofing it worked there. Yeah, nice. All right, well, I'll just, I'll just play this level. I think this is like an updated version of, of Eraser too. I don't think I'd check this one out. Like this might be the final version. But I feel like there's a few changes in there that I haven't seen before. Wah! <laughs> I'm still terrible at it though. <laughs> I honestly didn't know there was going to be so many Streets of Rage 2 hacks. I've clearly missed out on a market or something here. Because <laughs> this is pretty cool. Also, I've noticed that uh, if you down, if you subscribe to a hack at... Wow. Oh my god, this is... Whoa! I was not expecting it to be this, like, accurate, almost. That's really cool. <laughs> but uh, if you subscribe to a hack, be sure to download the update because it does need to download the content for it to work. It doesn't, you don't just hit subscribe and open it. So make sure it downloads it first. Mind you, that could just be me because I have it set to only download stuff at a certain time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just to keep that in mind, basically. 
So, because I know a few people have had that issue, so. Oh, man. This is really cool. Okay, so that's that. And that's that. That's neat. I like this. This is neato. I wonder how much damage that does. Let me find out. Whoa! Oh, my God. Wow, that does a lot. That's all right. I wonder what that number is at the top counting up. How many dudes I've killed? Interesting. Just, just shuffle my way. <laughs> just shuffling. Just shuffle, 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 shuffle. <laughs> Hadouken! Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, this is the best. Oh! Oh, I can run! What? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get there fast! <laughs> oh, dude, that's got some multi hit! Mm. Oh, shit! Oh! It doesn't do a lot of damage, though. Holy shit! Whoa! What? Oh, my God! Oh, this is cool! Oh, whoa! I want to play as so many of these guys! Okay, uh, I'm actually going to play as... Uh, I'll play as Electra. Why not? I'm hoping they've got the whip and everything. That's cool. I can't credit, by the way, I can't guarantee that when I download these hacks that it's going to be... The oh my god, it's got the moves and everything! That is so cool! That's a nice challenge, too, I think, because she seems pretty limited in what she can do. So that's actually pretty neat. Now, the one thing I will mention about playing hacks that aren't Sonic related is I can't guarantee that the versions I'm using and all that and what I recommend are actually uploaded and maintained by the original creator. I'm very in league with like Sonic hackers, so I know who creates what with that group. But trying to keep track of all these different hacks would be a never ending task that I just don't think I am capable of. But other than that, I'm just gonna just play around with stupid hacks, because that's pretty much what I'm about, I guess. <laughs> Can I... Ah! Uh, and it doesn't cost me any... Oh, wow, it doesn't cost me any health to do it. I guess that's the payoff, like... Oh, my God! Whoa! Dude, I obliterated that guy. He just... He... <laughs> it's probably because he's not meant to have, like, an animation for that. And so it's just like, <laughs> that's amazing. I feel like I knew about a hack like this a long time ago, but never bothered like looking for it or th thought about like showing it off. Oh God, he's so fast. Oh, he's so awkward. Oh, oh, he is so awkward. He this is weird. This is very weird. <laughs> I like the simple sprite work though. Oh, I, I like make some weird ring sound when I jump. Oh, 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 why is it that a lot of these hacks are showing off how many enemies I've killed? That's a weird addition. That's, that's interesting. I like that. It's kind of got the, the Sonic, Sonic Adventure <laughs> pose. <laughs> it's pretty neat. <laughs> oh my God. Apparently Sally isn't uh, fully implemented yet, so I, I'm not going to show her off. But I didn't realize there was going to be so many, so many hacks for uh, Streets of Rage. Now, the only downside you, like the hub is used, being used for right now is they're basically uploading other ROMs with like a base of certain, like Sonic 1, but really it's another game that's not even on the system or another game that hasn't been added on the collection. And I'm like, all right, well, you're probably gonna get told off for doing that. I think someone is moderating, so. Chances are they won't get away with that a whole lot. You've even got ROMs. I'm surprised. <laughs> oh, God. Vada, you're a menace and you need to be stopped. So if you don't know what this is, this is NHL's X7 edition. It's a very, very big in joke. But if my good friend Nick is an idiot, basically, and uh, said coins a lot instead of rings, and it has m other changes, like he hates the final boss of this game, so in this one, it just dies on its own. There you go. 
Varda likes to take a joke too far. You see, I used to say red coins out of spite in a way. <laughs> Because I said it by accident the first time, and then any time after that, it became a joke. And to the point where I accidentally do it a lot on purpose now, just because of the joke. It's kind of similar to how I call it Marble Hill Zone now, instead of just Marble Zone. Because I did it once by mistake, it turned into a joke, and now I can't stop saying it. So, there you go. But you can play this version. Actually, there's a lot of games on this that I haven't played in general. So, I am really going to look forward to, like doing this because I bought the big pack while it was on sale and it was quite cheap so I am really looking forward to this. I want mods for Wonder Boy and Monster World. I want awesome levels and stuff. I don't know how doable that would be. I'm actually hoping this brings out like a new interest in just making cool changes and mods and stuff. Of course it might it might make more meme games come out. I'm okay with that though. It's even got the most updated version of this. And sadly, this will be the most updated version because for those who didn't know, Varda canceled working on the hack. So this is the most updated version of Thomas you're gonna get. But it exists, it's up there, it's available. So, enjoy. Thank you for watching this random video on the Sega Classic Hacks Hub thing. I don't know what I'm gonna call it, but I'm gonna keep my eye on the workshop. And if there's some good stuff... Oh my god, I had no idea they ch he changed that, what? If there's some good stuff, I might make a series out of this. Maybe the Sega Classics Hack Showcase or something, or the, the Sega Hack Showcase. I don't know, it might be an idea. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Throw us a like if you did. Tell me what your favorite hack is on the market, on the workshop so far. And I'll catch you next time. Take care. Okay, thanks. Bye. Come on!